right, Molly? Right! What, 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 what? Okay, it's October 1st. Well, it's actually uh, September 30th for me. But I said I would release this on October 1st. And then you can tell by the view behind me, we are in a different truck. Okay, so I said secrets. So, well, there's three secrets. Four, depending on how you look at it. But, yep, we've got secrets. Hey, how come my dash lights don't come on? My dash light come on with that one? Nope, it doesn't. Okay, I can't show it to you now. Show it to you another time. Well, then again, I might be able to insert it. Okay, so, yes, sir, we Bob. We, I know it's a mess, but I've got most of it organized. I still got to put away my extra bedding, my laundry, and a few other things. But I've got a lot of it organized. Okay, so, yes, we are in a brand new Kenworth. I'm not sure if you can see that. Can you see that? Yes, sir. T680. Okay, so, that's part of the secret. I guess maybe there's four secrets. I don't know, whatever. Okay, so, secret one is out of the bag. I've got a brand new truck. Now, there's more to this story than meets the eye. Okay. Starting effective immediately, I will be running the U.S. Yes, sir, Bob, I'm doing Canada, U.S. again. A secret number two. Right, Molly? Is that secret number two? You're not sure. Okay, that was secret number two. We will be running Canada, U.S. Alrighty. So, I know you guys are dead. There's just so much for you to handle. It's incredible. See, look how excited Molly is. She's going to be coming down to the U.S. to see a lot of you U.S. guys. Yeah, the, your claws need to be trimmed. Oh, my God, they're sharp, and so are your teeth, lady. So, so we, should we tell them secret number three? Should we keep them in suspense for a bit? What do you think, Mal? Oh, you're going to play with your ball? All right. So, secret one, we've got a new truck. Secret two, we're going to be coming to the U.S. All right, so... Secret three, and we're not going to get into it too heavily today. I know there's going to be a few people that are going to be shocked beyond all belief. There's going to be a few people that are going to be disgusted beyond all belief, but I really don't care. Like I said, we'll get into it. We'll get into the reasons why and all the particulars about it in another video, which will be probably Saturday's video. Uh, but for today's video, so that we don't go overboard in length here. So, all right. So, I have joined the ranks of sort of owner-operator. And the only reason I say sort of because, well, I guess I could be considered owner-operator. But then again, I'm not. I'm a lease purchase operator. That's what I am. All right. That's right. This is a lease purchase truck. Now, I know some of you have just falling off your chair going what the Jerry are you doing okay so a lot of you know that I am normally against lease purchase but I've always said that there are a few programs out there that are good now what makes this program good well uh, there was only a couple of factors that I would get into a lease purchase one it had would have to be a brand new truck henceforth I'm in a new truck. So Celadon Canada finally went to leasing new trucks. Purchase, lease purchase for new trucks, not the used ones. Now, that on its own would not make me go lease purchase. Why? Because I think when you lease a truck, you know, and you're stuck to this uh, monthly, you got to remember, when you do a lease purchase, you're going to pay a little bit more in most cases than you would if you financed it privately. We'll get all into that. On Saturday's video, we're not going to get into the details right now. However, with Celadon Canada, because Celadon US has been doing it for a while, they have now switched to a lease purchase per mile. What are you doing? We're trying to tell people stuff here. What are you digging for? Yeah, yeah, I'll feed you in a minute. So, the payment for the truck is by the mile not a fixed monthly payment. So, what does that mean? I know some of you are saying, but what difference does it make? Well, it makes a huge difference. If the miles are low for the month, or if I decide... Ow! That hurt! 
You're digging on my freaking foot. <sighs> Kids. If uh, I decide to go on vacation, whatever, and the truck is parked, there's no payment to make. So, what is good about this? Celadon does not make any money if the truck sits. So, it is in their best interest to keep their lease purchase drivers rolling. Just like their owner operators. So, and I know a lot of people say, oh, well, they'll just give it to a company driver first. In actuality, they pay a little bit more attention to their lease purchase operators and their owner operators over their company drivers. I know it sounds sad and bad, but it is true. They do still pay lots of attention to their company drivers. Don't get me wrong. Don't take it a the wrong way. What the hell is going on here? Don't take it the wrong way. However, so anyway, so we're going to go through all these details and all this other stuff uh, in Saturday's video. So if you guys have questions, ask them now so I can answer them in Saturday's video. Okay. Um, so which means, you know, today's, uh, well, for you guys watching the video, October 1st. So do it now because you only got a couple of dates. All right. So that's it. That's all for the video. The big secrets are A, I'm in a new truck. B, I'm running the U.S. again. And C, I'm a lease purchase operator. Yes, sir. Bob, right, Molly? Uh, contain yourself. <laughs>